We are going to go over the concept of midpoint today, but first I wanted to show you a basic construction so you guys get the opportunity to start using your compass if you haven't used it yet. Uh, first is direction-wise. Anytime you see the directions, use the word construct. Construct. That means we are going to use our compass and our straight edge to do it. All right. You cannot take just your pencil and freehand it. All right. If I want you to freehand it with just your pencil, I would say draw or sketch. All right. So if the directions say draw or sketch, you can just do it, not draw into scale, estimate it. That's fine. But when it says construct, we do need to use our compass and our straight edge. So here's what we're going to do right now. Very the basic construction that we're going to do. Construct a segment that's congruent to C, congruent to AB, and we're going to call it CD. What's congruent mean again? Going into the quiz tomorrow, congruent, equal in length. So using your compass and straight edge. Notice it does not say a ruler. We are not going to measure this. Say it's seven inches and do seven inches over on the other side. Okay, we are going to use your compass to construct a congruent segment, a segment that's equal in length to AB. All right, it's the simplest one we have. Everybody ready for the steps? First thing we need to do over here, all right, because we're not going to make any marks on AB, we're going to go over to our point here, and we're going to make, and this is a new vocabulary term, most of you have probably heard of it in middle school before, is we're going to draw a ray with our straight edge that is longer than the line segment we're trying to copy. Okay? So take your straight edge, whatever straight edge you have, go on over here and make a ray, which is an endpoint followed by a part of a line that is longer than your line segment. That's all I need you to do right now. Everybody good? Okay. If you guys are sharing, I really don't have time to wait around for people to stop sharing. Now, we're gonna use the compass. And what we're gonna do with our compass is we are going to open it up the length of AB. We're basically measuring the length of AB with our compass, and we are not making any markings. We're just opening up our compass the length of AB. Do not, and then leave it that same opening right now. So everyone's got it open the length of AB. You can take it off, but just don't open or close your compass from that setting. We're gonna come over to the ray, put your compass point on the end point of the ray, compass point on the end point of the ray. And now some of you may have a little difficulty with, with this because you've never used the compass before. You are gonna make an arc, draw an arc, that intersects your ray. What I usually do is I usually hold the paper maybe, and I usually hold it from the top, all right? I usually hold the compass from the top, all right? Try to be loose in your hand. Try not to squeeze it. That's how they break pretty easily. All right, again, I just usually use it from the top. Compass point down, just make sure my paper's anchored down, turn the wrist. And that's all you need to do right there is make an arc that intersects your ray. How's it look, all right? So we now know that this piece right here is congruent to AB. But what did we want to call this segment again? What did the direction say? Call the congruent segment CD. So that's what I need to label this as. One end point will be C, where the arc intersected your ray will be D, and then mathematically now, how can we write that line segment AB is congruent to CD now? Well, we can mark it, yep, so we can mark it with our hash marks if we want to show they're congruent. And if I wanted you to write it, we could say line segment AB, line segment CD. Good practice for the quiz tomorrow. Anybody remember the si symbol? Yep, my equal sign with the approximate symbol on top. 
So that's the basic construction we're going to do this year. So again, make a ray, measure with your compass the length of the segment you're copying, come on over here, draw an arc. All right, quick challenge. We're not going to do it because I know it's coming up on homework. But what if I ask the following question? What if I asked you to construct a segment that's twice the length of AB? Give me a segment not equal to AB, but twice the length. How could I use what we've already done to continue this construction? Give me a line segment that's twice the length of AB. What do we got? Jack, right? What do you mean all the way around here? Well, that would just give me a circle and I'm still in the same spot, right? You want me to start here and then go all the way? I still have this segment though. I don't have one that's twice the length. Okay, I need one that's double, double. Name? Hello, go ahead. There you go. I'll put my compass on D, make sure my ray is a lot, more lo a lot longer, and then I'll make another arc out here. Okay? All right, so you're going to have that challenge tonight on your homework. Questions, though, right now on how to copy a segment? Anything at all? Basic as they come. They're going to get a lot tougher. This is as basic as we come. How are we on handling the compass right now? You'll get better at it. This was just your first one. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's talk about our vocabulary term of the day. And yes, it will be on the quiz tomorrow. Midpoint. What's it sound like? Midpoint. Point in the middle. All right, but here's the thing. Can it be in the middle of a line? A line. No, you can never find the middle of a line. Why not? They go on forever. So we can only find the middle of a line segment. All right, so that's the point that divides the line segment into two congruent parts. All right, two congruent parts. First thing before we do it algebraically is I'm going to show you how to use your compass to find any midpoint of a line segment I give you. So what I want to do right now is take line segment AB, find the middle of it. Find the point that's in the middle. No rulers. No rulers. Why? It's asking me to construct. Everyone ready for the steps? To construct the midpoint, to find it. Take your compass right now. Put the end point of your compass, the metal part, the sharp part, on one of the end points. So either put it on A or B right now. And what I need you to do, here's the most important part, is open up your compass more than half the length of the segment. Open up your compass more than half the length of the segment. And now, this may be a little difficult because you guys are newbies, but you'll get it. I need you to make a decent size arc, almost like a half circle arc. Not a full circle. You don't need a full circle, just a half circle. So draw a decent size arc, even if it goes into the previous problem, that's fine. And keep the same opening on your compass when you're done. Don't open or close it. So make that decent size arc. Keep the same opening on your compass. Go on over to point B, go on over to the other end point that you haven't gone to yet and do the same exact thing. But now they're going to intersect your first arc in two spots. Ready? So I didn't change the opening of my compass. And what I'm going to do is make another decent size arc so I have two points of intersection. I call this the fish construction. Everyone see why? All right, the fish to find the midpoint. Some people don't like all these lines on their paper. So what I've seen students do in the past is the following. They only mark it where it's going to intersect. So, you, so sometimes I never see this part of the arc, which is fine. You just need the points of intersection. That's all I care about. Okay, so if you don't like all those arc marks on your paper, that's what you can do. How are we doing? We got the fish done. So now you're going to take your straight edge right now. You're going to line up both points of intersection. Line up both points of intersection and draw a line through. Line, line segment, doesn't matter here. Draw it through. 